Hey guys, what's up? This is Tom Burkhart from Car Reps Daily with the 2017 Jaguar XF 35T R Sport All Wheel Drive. So, this is a mid range XF, well, mid near the top of the range, just below the XFS. And this XF 35T R Sport um, comes in with the 35T comes in from about 55,000, and this car with, uh, with no options but really good equipment comes in at 64. So the XF R Sport has uh, some unique stuff to set it apart from um, the other XFs in the range. Starting with the 2.0D, that makes 180 horsepower, it's a turbo diesel. But this um, 35T R Sport all-wheel drive has unique exterior versus the other 35Ts. Um, fresh bumper, so unique bumper clip that has uh, a sportier look. It's deep chrome, so there's just like some silver, um, some matte silver bright work up front. These, uh, these intakes to the sides are, are sort of XFS inspired. And then of course we have the standard LED, uh, full LED lighting for low high beams and uh, DRLs, which are awesome, even automatic high beams. So the car is really, really good looking and drives awesome. So the big, the big uh, selling point for this XF versus um, rivals like the E-Class and 5 Series is that it's really fun. This car is fun and genuinely fast um, and great to drive. So. Uh, just uh, we're gonna explore that in a few minutes. We've got a little um, AC trail of condensation just because we were taking pictures here for a few minutes. But um, this R Sport does look really good. Still silver alloy wheels. I think these are 19s. Uh, these are 245 40 19s. So silver alloy wheels, but um, nice. Uh, the same sort of uh, matte satin silver bright work for the fender badge um, and vent and. The so continuing in profile, we've got some other unique stuff for the R Sport, like these sill extensions that are uh, sharp and help help uh, help the look of the car dramatically. Blacked out glass house elements, uh, no chrome around the windows there. There is some chrome in uh, some of the entry level XFs, but not on this 35T R Sport all wheel drive. Moving around back, we've got a little bit of a lip spoiler on the top of the trunk, subtle and classy. Of course, LED brake lights that form sort of a, a double double hump down there, and then dual exhaust pipes. The exhaust sounds pretty good. Not sure if you can really get a sense of it at idle. But this three liter supercharged V6 uh, making 340 horsepower is very strong and very snarly. Um, it sounds very, very nice. Not much exhaust bark um, versus the XFS, but um, it does have a nice overall gurgle and a nice, uh, nice harmonics to it from inside the car. Biggest things with the all-wheel drive XF is that it's fast. It's, uh, it's 0.1 seconds quicker than the rear-wheel drive version. Um, so that's down to 5.1 seconds for this XF 35T all-wheel drive um, versus 5.2. And the XF itself, uh, the XFS I should say, um, the top dog right now with 380 horsepower can only manage that sprint like a 0.1 second quicker. So the XFS is down to like 5.0 versus 5.1 in this car. So really, not much of a difference in terms of its um, in terms of its effective power. And this XF 35T R Sport definitely feels quick, definitely. So let me put on the blinkers. Let's take a look at those. These lights are masterful and very, very beautiful. But they get even more beautiful when you're actually using the car. You see, like this goes to full amber for that full J LED signature. Flips to amber just looks really cool and just reinforces that this is a brand new and super classy machine so I'm gonna turn on the actual headlights and nice red leather cabin in there check out the blinker in back as well as the brake lights so we've got a little sun glare there so it's hard to see but a nice LED element for this turn signal piece too which is cool Definitely looks good. And this XF has a really, really nice cabin. Um, this new uh, cab backward proportions really just emphasize the uh, the almost non-existent front overhang and um, the big back seat space. So hopping in, you can see we've got nice leather wrap, sport seats for the R Sport, um, dark headliner, and this uh, really cool moonroof, whose glass actually extends over the roof when it's open but is a much larger moonroof than you would otherwise get. Nice heated seats in the back is standard in the R Sport and double power outlets right there. 
We've got a 12.3 inch panel for the main configurable drive controls, and then an 11 inch panel for the Jaguar in, um, in Control Pro, which is the touchscreen infotainment system. Overall, big fan of the machine. Drives really, really nicely and looks just as great as you can possibly imagine. Uh, $60,000 sedan looking really terrific. So we've got our LED low beams and LED high beams engaged right now. The low beams are actually that top portion of the lamp and the high beams are the lower portion. They're very, very effective and very beautiful. All right, we'll see you guys next time. This is Tom Burkhart from Car Rips Daily with the 2017 Jaguar XF35T R Sport all-wheel drive.